guys, Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are doing great by the grace of Almighty. Well, my name is Labiba Tahsin. I am an 8th grader in Mirpur Khan Public School and College. And today we're going to learn about collocations. So, what is collocations? So, in a very simple definition, if I have to give, then a collocations means a word. Like, we can say able. It's a word. So yeah, now you have to put some adjective or adverse in front of or after that word. Yeah, it means collocation. Well, now, as example, able, it's an adjective, right? So now, we can say like, what we can say? Can you guys give some? Well, let's move on and let's see what we can say. Well, first thing first, we got quite able. So now, if you say like, he's able to do it, how much able he is to do it? Or like, if I have to say like, he's good at drawing, how much good he is? Then you can say he's quite good at drawing. So it means like, he's like more than good to do that drawing or like do that stuff. So now, as an example, we can say he is quite able to do the work, which means he is more than able to do that work. More than able. It's also, you can say in collocations because more than, we use this word more than before able. So yeah, that's also a kind of definition like how much able he can do it. So yeah, it's also in collocations, more than able. So now let's move on to the next one. It's barely or hardly able. So if you barely or hardly able, do you know what does that mean? It's mean like he's able to do it, but not that good. Like we can say that he is barely good at singing. So it means like he is good at singing, but not really that much good. Like he can sing, but not good like that. So yeah, we can say that barely able or hardly able, they both means the same. Now the next word is less able. It's also kind of similar. We all can understand what less able means. It's like he's able, but not very able. He's like a little bit able like that. So we can say he's less able to what? He's less able to dance, I guess. So yeah, I think you guys have understood what does actually this means, what does collocations means, and what kind of words we can use before or after able. So yeah, if you guys know some other words, then you guys can also share with us in the comment box. So yeah, write that down and we can all learn some new words together. So I guess that's all for today. If you guys like this video, then give us a thumbs up and just comment down below what other words we can say before or after able and that's all for today allah hafiz guys assalamu alaikum uthte giye pore jetei paro kintu kichutei thama jabe na shuru ta sob shomoy kothinotoro kintu shafolloer shuru to ekhan thekei সামনে অনেক বাধা আসবে আর এই বাধাই তোমাকে করবে আরো শক্তিশালী জীবন তো আর পৃষ্ঠাগোনা পাণ্ডুলিপি নয় এটা সীমাহীন ও অজানা লক্ষ্য স্থির করে পরিশ্রম করো আর বিকাশ ঘটাও তোমার সুপ্ত প্রতিভার অনেকের মধ্যে একজন নয় হতে হবে অদ্বিতীয় অনন্য এবং আমরা তোমার পাশে আছি প্রশিক্ষক হিসেবে তোমার ভুলকে মেনে নেওয়ার ধৈর্য আমাদের আছে কারণ আমরা জানি ভুল করাই তোমার শেখার প্রমাণ আমরা এস এস সি শিক্ষার্থীদের জন্য অসাধারণ একটি কোর্স ডিজাইন করেছি পরীক্ষা শেষ হওয়া মাত্রই চলে এসো অনেকের মধ্যে অন্যতম হতে সবাই একসাথে উদযাপন করব তোমার শ্রেষ্ঠত্বের বিজয় ঠাসল বাংলাদেশ শিখর ছোয়ার অঙ্গীকার 
every detail is in the caption.